Hello and welcome back to CBD Food Network. I'm your host Sharna and today we're going to be making orange cauliflower and we're going to be using Potley's hemp infused extra virgin olive oil. So let's get started. To start, we're going to need the following. We're going to need two teaspoons salt. We have one tablespoon of oil. We have three cloves minced garlic. We have one fresh piece of ginger minced. We have one quarter cup soy sauce. We have half a cup of orange juice, fresh orange juice. We have half a cup of tightly packed light brown sugar. We have one floret of cauliflower. We have two cups of all-purpose flour. We have two cups of whole milk or any type of milk that you'd like. And then we have uh, two tablespoons of cold water. We have one teaspoon of sesame oil. We have two tablespoons cornstarch. We have quarter cup of distilled white vinegar and we have some scallions to top off the dish. All right, so let's get started with our batter. We have two cups of the flour here. We're gonna mix in the salt and we're going to mix in the milk. I'm just slowly adding it in as I mix. It's nothing complicated. All right, let's just put it in there. All right, so Try not to get any lumps in there. I know I have some in mine, but as long as they're not big, you should be okay. But you wanna make sure it's as smooth as possible. All right, so seems like it's good consistency. Let's move on. All right, so we have our oil heated to medium high heat. And now we're just going to basically take the cauliflower, dip it, and we're gonna shake off the excess. This is important to shake off the excess. <laughs> All right, now let's slowly drop it in there. We're gonna do batches, so I'm gonna put four more in here. You don't want too thick batter. That won't taste good. And I should also be using smaller florets because you don't want it to be too hard when you're trying to bite into it. All right. I'm gonna lower the heat just a tiny bit because I feel like it's getting really hot. And you wanna monitor the temperature when you're, especially when you're cooking with oil because it's so dangerous and also it can impact your cooking, just the health of your cooking, but also the taste as well. So make sure that you are checking temperatures, especially when cooking with oils and be very careful about the kinds of oils you use when you're cooking. Alright, so it is getting nice. 
Okay, see this is getting a little dark, which it's not bad, but you wanna make sure that you don't allow this to sit in one place too long. So it, something that I like to do is kind of move them slightly so that they're constantly moving and not getting stuck in one place. Okay, this one didn't need to be out. Okay, so now these are nice and golden brown. I'm going to go ahead and take them out one by one very carefully and put them onto some clean paper towels to drain some of the excess. we go one batch is done all right so now let's start with our um, our sauce so we're gonna begin by putting oil on a heated skillet and we're going to add our ginger sorry our garlic and our ginger All right, the ginger is a little sticky. That's okay. We're gonna wait for this to kind of get a little golden brown so that we can move on to the next thing. <clears throat> All right, so this is fine. The ginger is really sticky. Sometimes fresh ginger, the juice really sticks to the bottom, so that's okay. It's all flavor, it's all part of it. Okay, now we're going to put in our orange juice. our brown sugar okay and we're also going to add in our vinegar And I'm going to raise the heat slightly, just a little. And we're also going to add in the soy sauce. Okay, we're gonna cook this down for about two to three minutes. And that ginger that was stuck, this is a good time to kind of get that loosened up. Okay, so now it's been simmering for about two to three minutes. Now we're going to make our cornstarch slurry to add into this mixture. So for that, we're gonna move right over here Okay, and I'm just gonna add this water to the cornstarch and mix it up. <laughs> We're going to add this to the mixture, okay? Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to just stir this and mix it. So it is going to get a little bit gelatiny. That's okay, just break down the little lumps with your spatula. Nothing to worry about. All right, so after that's been cooking, now it's thickening up. So I'm going to add the uh, previously cooked cauliflower into our sauce. Okay, so just dropping it in one by one. Make sure this is enough sauce to cover all of them. If you made a few extra, they're just as delicious. <laughs> but I would definitely um, take into account how much the sauce can handle and put that amount in. I've done this mistake before where the two things are just completely off balance. <laughs> that does not taste very good. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat off at this point and it, it's pretty much done. Um, we're just gonna top it off with some scallions. I'm just gonna make sure that I coat everything before I do that though. <clears throat> Another great way to mix this component like this together is if you want to, after the sauce is done, put it into a bowl and then toss all the pieces into the bowl and kind of stir it up or, you know, sh whatever you want to do. <laughs> That's another way to do it. I think this works just fine. Okay, so I don't want to mash anything or destroy anything. So I'm going to leave it right here and I'm going to just garnish it with some scallions. All right. There you have it. We have our orange chickenless cauliflower. That's all for today. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. And if you want more, then do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.